In this video, we will cover the basics of how the content management system functions. First, we will talk about the skin files. Once the design process is completed, we take the static design and we skin the website. The skin consists of the overall look and feel of the website. This includes font colors, font size, style, and the overall structure of the website. Once we are logged into the CMS, you'll find the display mode at the top right. So let's go ahead, we'll log back in to our site. And at the very top right, we have what's called the display mode. There's three options in the display mode. There is view. View allows you to see the website as if you are logged out. So you won't get the manage buttons. You won't get this admin area. Edit allows you to edit the site as normal. And layout actually allows you to see how the skin file is laid out. So if I switch to layout mode, we can see here, you'll notice that there's these areas called panes. This is done in the skin file to allow modules to be placed in different parts of the page. You will see at the top where we have an area called social media pane. This means we can place any module in this area. And currently we have just a basic module with a basic HTML module with some, some links, some text links. Further down, we will have a content pane, which is site wide or as, as wide as your website right now. This is an area where you can place the HTML module, which is the default module, and place any content, links, and pictures as you need. You will also see a few more panes available on this page. Let's flip back to edit and put an HTML module in this content pane. So I'm going to go back to our edit mode. I'm going to go back to a fresh page we made earlier called Our People. You can see that already we have a module in here called Edit Title. We're going to go ahead, we're going to remove this real quick just to show you what an empty page looks like. So here's a blank page. We're going to go up to our modules. HTML, the module is already selected by default and we're going to choose to place it in what area? Well, you can see we have all these options of where we can place this module. We're going to place it in the content pane and we're going to add the module. Now modules can be your basic HTML module. We also have a lot of third-party modules that we can tie into the system to extend it. Those include things like gallery modules, video galleries, job postings modules, blog module, etc, etc. The system can be easily extended by installing these third-party modules. Let's take a look at this HTML module and see what kind of options we have. We have now this HTML module sitting right here and you'll notice that there is a manage button that appears when you hover over the module. When I hover over the manage button, you will see a bunch of options. The first is edit content. Well, this opens up the editor and allows you to edit the content as you need to. You will also notice a few other options, which include delete, settings, and below a bunch of move options where you can actually move modules in and out of different areas. The nice thing about modules is they're quite flexible. I can take this module and move it to any pane within the page. Let's put some quick content in and save. So we'll go to edit content, opens up our editor. I'm going to add some content. I'm going to scroll down and hit save. Now we're going to go ahead, we're going to add another module to this page. So we go back up to our modules drop down, select HTML again, select content pane, and we're going to add another module. You will now see we have two areas that we can edit. We have the top one and we have the bottom one. I can move them around, I can move them up above each other, I can move them down. When you hover over manage, you will also notice that there is a settings option. Let's click on this. The settings of the module is where you're going to go to change the title. So we can see here module title. Let's call it something. I'm going to call it my content. And I changed my name to my content and I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Now you'll see that my title has changed over here and I still have two modules on the page. Let's go ahead and delete the one above. If we hover over manage, we get the delete option. Click on delete, it will ask you to confirm and click on yes. Now it's removed from the page. 
Once deleted, the module has now gone off the page, but it will sit in the recycle bin. The recycle bin is great for those oops moments or if you just want to remove something for now. Hover over the admin and select recycle bin. The recycle bin has two options. It has the pages and it has modules. Because we deleted a module off the page, we're going to click on modules and you'll see there are some modules I've already deleted off the page. If I like, I can restore them right back to the same page.